Hey guys, I'm gonna tie for you guys a fly that's super duper simple and very, very effective. It is essentially a zebra midge and a mayfly imitation peridigone mixed together in one. It's called the zebra gone. So let's jump into it. First, I'm going to start with an Umpqua XC400BL barbless jig hook. I've got a slotted tungsten bead in the color silver that's a 2.8 millimeter. This is a size 16. This is pretty big. Usually I fish these in 18s and 20s, but for tying purposes, I figured I'd go with the biggest one that I actually fish. I do fish 16s. It's a fantastic pattern in this size, but I, I definitely wanted you to know that I tie it and fish it much smaller than this typically. All right, we're going to take some Viva's body quill, but I think it's important to note that you can use any type of thread that you have, just a small diameter thread. This stuff's pretty cool because it actually has thread and flash mixed in one. It's a, it's a fun material to tie with. But if you just have all of thread, that'll work as well. We're gonna go right behind the bead, do a few wraps, get us started here. We're gonna keep this fly pretty sparse. So we're not gonna take our, our wraps back yet. We're actually going to grab our tailing material, which happens to be three or four fibers of Coque de Leon. I'm going to keep the tail very, very sparse as well. So what I do is I measure those out to about the length, about the same uh, length as the hook shank. And we'll go ahead right up there behind the bead, do a pinch wrap, make sure that it's looking like the length that we want. And I'll actually just hold those in place. I'll take this Vivas body quill and wrap it back about there. That looks pretty good. Get that tail to stick up a little bit. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take a piece of small silver wire. On a size 16, you could actually use brassy size, but we're going to keep it with small. I'm going to just tie that piece of wire in. I can just hold it on the near side. There we go. Once again, we're keeping the body of this fly very sparse. Okay, trim off the tail. Okay, now I'm just gonna slightly taper the body of this fly, just ever so slightly to about there. Okay, now we're gonna take our silver wire and we're gonna segment the body of this fly. Super easy, just like a zebra midge. Okay, we'll get the wire right up there behind that bead. Go ahead and make a couple wraps. Helicopter that bad boy off. All right, just about done here. Okay, and then you can just do a couple of turns on your whip finish here. Because the entire body of this fly is going to be coated. Okay, and then we can take and trim that up nice and short. All right, it's coming together pretty nice. It looks kind of like a zebra midge up to this point, which we all know zebras fish very well. But we're going to continue, make it a zebra peridigon, a zebra gone. Next, we're going to take some black nail polish, just a little bit. I'm going to keep most of it in the bottle. We only need a little tiny dot. And we're going to put it right there in the slot where the bead and the body of the fly meet together. That's going to imitate a wing case on a mayfly or on a midge pupa, which is kind of cool. So it doesn't take much, just a little bit of black right up on the front there. Okay, and usually I tie these in batches. I'll tie up a dozen, a half a dozen, and I'll get them to this stage, put them on a piece of foam, let them all dry. But tonight, we're just going to talk about color schemes for a second while that dries. So another one of my favorite variations is to use red thread, silver wire, and then the black up top. It looks a lot like some of the midge pupa that we, that we see around here. So red is one of my favorites, red and silver. Black and silver works great. Olive, as always, does a fantastic job. You can use cream. Some guys like a light-colored zebra. Um, the sky is the limit. A lot of options with this guy. Super easy to tie, and you can do a lot of really cool things and find what color scheme, whatever fish is best for you. So it's kind of a fun pattern to mess around with. Okay, now let's hope that that nail polish is dry enough. We're going to take a clear coat material. This is... Raid Zap Thin. 
stuff works really well. We're going to go ahead and turn this guy into a peritone. So if I get a little too thick, I can just touch the metal stem. And that'll remove a little bit of that. Okay, that's looking pretty good, though. Let's go ahead and hit that with the light. This, my friends, is a zebra gone. Basically a zebra midge with a tail, a little bit of a black wing case. And that's it. But it fishes fantastic. I fish it during beta hatches. I fish it when midges are around. I fish it on tailwaters. I fish on free stones. This guy catches fish all over the place. A fly this simple, durable, easy to tie up should be in everybody's box. So give it a whirl. Hope it treats you well. Thanks so much.